Hey, what's good guys? It's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. Yes, this is a very, very, very highly requested video, and I'm sorry that it took me so incredibly long, um, but here it is. Everything that you will need for this setup is down below in the description. Uh, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I am talking about this setup right here. This was in my last What's on My Android Phone. Uh, it was the Pixel 2 XL, and I said that if you guys can get this video to 1500 likes, I will work on the uh, setup tutorial video for this setup to get a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I set this up. So, I got 1500 likes in like a matter of minutes, <laughs> and it caught me off guard, and then I had some other things that I had to work on, so sorry that it took so long. But everything in this setup will be listed down below in the description so you guys can uh, download them for yourself. This is a really simple setup. In fact, it's so simple that a lot of people have already made it themselves without my help. Help, which is awesome but for those of you that have not done that yet here is this video so we're gonna do this pretty much from the very beginning we're just gonna start from zero and work our way up so yes here's the setup all right so first off we're gonna head into the Play Store and we're gonna search for Nova launcher I don't think I have it on here just yet next up you're gonna want to grab KWGT which is what we use for the widgets this one is a couple dollars as well then after that you're gonna want to download the Minimo 2 skin which is for the specific widgets that we're getting. Minimo 2 for KWGT. It is, uh, I believe, a dollar or so? For these dots here on the bottom, that those came from the Candy Cons icon pack. Candy Cons, there you go. Candy Cons icon pack, this one is about a dollar as well, so. Okie doke, so let's start off with the grid size. Go into the settings, go to desktop, desktop grid, and you're gonna wanna set nine by five. At least that's what I have on my setup on my and my lights are changing colors because I'm getting notifications uh, but yes nine by five that's what I have on my pixel 2 let's go back into the settings go to look and feel and let's set the icon theme to candy cons just cuz <laughs> all right let's throw this away throw all of that away let's go to the dock uh, actually no we go to desktop first and then we go to page indicator and I got rid of that. And then I go to gestures and inputs and for swipe up, that gets me to my app drawer so that I can get rid of, let me just set this as default <laughs> so I can get rid of the app drawer icon. Whoopsies. So now when we swipe up, it gets us to the app drawer. Uh, we can also get rid of that, but I'm going to put an element here on the home screen first. Let's long press on the home screen, go to widgets and we got to scroll to KWGT and let's take one here, this one for example always allow and we'll resize it of course toggle the padding so it takes up the entire display pretty much and i believe it is a bit taller i think it's right about there get rid of the google search bar and it's all the way at the top another thing i did forget to do is go into settings go back here look and feel and then show notification bar we toggle that off there we go so now let's tap on here and go to Minimo KWGT number 55. So let's scroll all the way down and there you will find it. So of course, of course gonna have to go through this. And here's the widget. As you guys can probably tell, it looks a bit different from the one that I have on my setup. And that's because I edited it quite a bit. Um, well, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do it. Of course, you can leave it the way it is now if you like, but uh, let's see if we can get it to match how it is on my Pixel 2 XL. All right, so I'm gonna start with resizing it real quick, go over to layer and then we can resize it. It's at 94 and a half. So if I go all the way down to 90, whoops completely unintentional 94 and a half actually I can just <laughs> I can just do this why didn't I do this before all right there you go 94 and a half that's exactly where it is on my pixel and we're gonna center our focus on this uh, colored circle here of course it is hidden by that line but uh, let's go into the circle slide over to paint and this is what we did here so we tapped on the color area tapped on the color itself uh, of course you can switch this up to match your setup if you have you know a color theme going on you can do that uh, but I was going for a more transparent look oops all right you can set it to be wherever you want it to be I think it was around if I'm not mistaken it was around 23 something and then of course I put this all the way up to that side and that's roughly what it was like that's pretty much that we're not done yet we also have effects over here and I basically just got rid of everything so I just put none and that is it for this part all right so we can hit the back button another thing I did was get rid of the battery percentage because I put that in a different area I put it on the bottom left of my setup so basically just check off that check this off as well check that off and just hit the trash icon and boom they're gone 
And then the next thing I did was I believe I just increased the size of the text here so that it kind of balances out a little bit because the battery percentage is no longer there. So I'm gonna scroll down here to the first line of text, which is the time. And I believe I set it to 30. On the next one, I went to 35 for this guy. All right, the next one I also did 35, so plus 10 over here. Temperature, I did the same exact thing, 35. All right, so that's pretty much it for this widget. Nothing too crazy for this element. It's really easy, isn't it? You hit the save button and you're good to go. You can hit back and then it'll show up on your home screen. Of course, you can adjust it to your liking for your specific setup. And yeah, that's just how I have it on mine and I really like it. So let's move on to the next part. Let's go to KWGT and uh, let's just choose this one. I don't know why I chose that one. It's the complete opposite of what I need. Okay, let's do padding there, resize. And I believe I had it something like this. That looks about right. Oop, let's get it in the center there. Oh my goodness. Okay. There we go. All right. So Minimo 2, I believe this came from number 7. So you don't even have to scroll, really. It is right. Am I blind? Okay. It's right here. Literally, I took it from right there. So I got rid of everything except for Tuesday. Yes, I went the long way. I know. But this is what I was doing. I was just messing around with stuff and this is what I came up with. So the text obviously is right here. There's the code, of course, the formula. And uh, you can edit that yourself and just make it whatever you want. Of course, I just put my name. There we go. And done. Hit the check mark and you're good to go. Okay, so for some reason on my pixel, the width is actually set to 1145. So 1145, that's probably for the text bar itself. There you go. So I can have my name out like that. It's aligned to the left. So let's set that to center and then move it all the way over. So there we go. Let's try this. There we go. That's more like it's at 2-2. Two, two. And there you go. You guys don't have to do it like I did. I spent a good amount of time making this. So there you go. That's pretty much what I have there. Um, in term, Again, in terms of size, I believe it is the same. Yes, it is 50. And that should be it. So you can put whatever you want there and it'll be at the bottom. Yeah, that's a little larger, but that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Next up, the battery icon. This one is relatively easy as well. Let's add a new widget. All right, KWGT, one by one. I believe I got rid of padding on here as well. All right, resize, went all the way down. There you go. And it, ooh, oh, that's right, because it's in the dock. Now this one, I believe, came from Minimo 2, number 47. There we go. Yes, this literally came from this entire widget right here. So I got rid of everything besides that circle and the text, which will count for the uh, battery percentage. I even got rid of that little lightning icon. All right, so let's get rid of everything besides those two elements and we should be good to go. Delete, boom, there we go. As far as layer, we have a scale of 47.7. So we can set that really easily right here, 47. 0.7 all right we're off to a good start as for the circle let's go ahead and edit the circle real quick all right let's go to the circle the width is at 80 the position is negative 40 all right so let's do negative 40 boom you can see it a little bit and then y offset is zero boom okay and then of course we have to get to the actual battery percentage itself so the size is at 30 the position is the same of course negative 40 and zero all right let's edit this color real quick i'm not too sure why i had it before i believe i had it somewhere around right about here right about there as far as transparency i had it right in the middle ish let's say 80 and then all the f's there and then of course we should be good on that front there you go Looks good, right? All right, so there you go. All right, so for the last step, which is a little search icon on the other side of the name, let's do about the same thing as far as this goes. Of course, get our little widget, the padding, and resize it all the way down. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, we have to toss it in the dock. That's right. So let's set this up real quick. This one, again, I did do it from scratch. Um, I think, let's see, where did I get the idea from though? I wanna see where I got the idea from. I got it from here get rid of everything except for that circle it's a tad bit different from the way that i did it before but this trust me will get you there a lot faster so all right so let's head on into here let's go to position and the position will be 30 so let's do 30 and 3 there we go 
So there's that for now. And uh, oops, <laughs> while we're over here, let's go ahead and just get rid of this. And uh, let's do the paint real quick. Again, you can make this whatever you want. So of course I put the color all the way up there. And then as far as the transparency, again, you can do whichever you want. But uh, on my specific setup, I had it right about there. So 7 E F F F F all the way like that. So there you go. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go over here to layer and the scale is at 78.7. So 78.7, boom, there you go. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add the search icon itself. Hit the plus icon up here, go to font icon, and then we can hit that and then we can change the icon. We've got tons of different icons to choose from. And of course, we're looking for that magnifying glass wherever it is. Um, but you can just do a quick search for search. Oops, search. And there we go, search. I got the icon. Now, as for the size, we're gonna go to 30. So let's set this to 30. It'll fit right in that circle perfectly. As for position, we're gonna go over here. Let's do 32, 32, and then four. All right, there's four. And that is pretty much it. Now, of course, lastly over here, you can set it to do whatever you want it to do when you tap on the actual widget itself. So for example, let's go to touch over here, custom action, and uh, we can do whatever we want again, but of course launch a shortcut. And the shortcut is, I believe I did a Nova action and that Nova action was search. Of course you can do voice search, whatever you want, Google assistant, but I just chose search. And that is it for the widgets, guys. So what exactly did I do for those dots? So let's create a little folder here, for example. So let's take the clock. All right, let's take the clock. Let's take the calendar. And uh, let's take the calculator, for example. All right, so we have this folder here. You long press on this, you hit edit. Um, we'll get back to that in a little bit. Let's just change the icon for this. Go to candy cons. Um, so you have um, the white one up there and then you have the gray one down here. So how I have it are the two white ones on the outside. And then uh, what you do, swipe to open folder and then tapping on it will open up the first uh, item in the folder. So how this works is, uh, let's see, swipe to open the folder and let's have it open up the calculator when I tap on it. So when I tap on it, it'll open up the calculator. But if I swipe up on it, it'll open up the folder itself. I think this is really cool. It's definitely one of my most favorite things to do. Um, in terms of placement, it is a little different because the uh, name down there is a little larger. So I'll put it right there for now. And that's pretty much it. Of course, it's not exactly like mine. In fact, mine is more like this. Oops, nope, not like that. It's more like this. Of course, the name is different because it is a little larger on this specific setup, but that is it, guys, and you can apply whatever wallpaper you want, and you will be good to go. So, I hope this was able to help you out and uh, get this setup for you guys, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this setup. If you do, which I know you do, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, all of these applications are linked down below in the description. You can do this with Zuper Widget, KWGT, whatever you want, whatever icon pack you want, whatever skin pack you want. I want to see what you guys have to offer as far as this setup customize it make it your own and uh, post it on twitter for me to see so that does it for this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed it i'll run through this one more time if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that does it for me i will talk to you guys in the very next video and thank you so much for watching